Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again. And today I'm going to tell you how you can jailbreak or install a homebrew channel directly on your television itself. So in my example, I'm currently using this television right here, which is an LG NanoCell 85 series. This is a TV that I bought last year, but it does support some of the newer features such as HDMI 2.1 which obviously works with the very latest system feature update for the PlayStation 5, which was VRR or variable refresh rate. So I have this wonderful television and I thought to myself, how can I get even more out of it? So just like with my PlayStation consoles and really my Nintendo consoles and everything in between, I took a look to see what the internet was doing and what they were saying about this television and if there was any sort of exploits that I could go ahead and take advantage of today. So it led me to this site right over here, which is just simply called Web OS Brew. And before I get into this, keep in mind that Web OS is the operating system that LG uses on their televisions. Now, I haven't went too deep into this site to figure out what all types of television series are supported, but for the most part, it is for LG televisions that are using the Web OS smart TV platform. And so it states in here, what does it do? It says our main points of interest are building an unofficial native app tool chain, reverse engineering and documenting native system APIs, maintaining a list of unofficial applications, which you will be able to download those unofficial applications, and then building, porting, and maintaining pieces of software, such as the Homebrew application store, and then the YouTube TV app. So what's really nice about this YouTube TV app is, is that ad blocking is built into it. And there's a couple of other features in here, Retro Arch. And so there are primarily two different ways that you can kind of get started with this. The easiest method is simply using this root my.tv exploit, which is what we're going to use here today. There is also a, another method, and that's if your TV isn't vulnerable to the root my TV exploit chain. All of the projects that they've built are over here on this GitHub site. So if you go to the github.com slash web OS brew, you can see a number of projects that they currently have out here. And absolutely everything is completely open source, which I thought was really cool. So the YouTube web OS, again, this is the project that has the YouTube app without ads. Here is the full source code to this. And so you can do everything from, you know, uh, enable ad blocking, skip sponsor segments, uh, to even more of these uh, additional features and functionality. The website that you will be using in your browser is going to simply be rootmy.tv. And so you'll just simply go to this page and this will exploit your television, gain local root privileges, and install the WebOS homebrew channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's switch over to my television and let's take a look at what this looks like to actually perform. Okay, so the very first thing that you're going to need to do is go to settings and then go to where it shows the network. So I'm going to click on the network and as you can tell here, I am currently connected on my Wi-Fi connection. Obviously, you can go ahead and plug in via Ethernet if you would like to, or just use a Wi-Fi connection. But once it shows that you are connected to a Wi-Fi signal, then you can carry on with the rest of this tutorial. So now, if you go to where it says Settings again and go to All Settings, and you go to where it says support and then software update, you can see right now that mine is currently setting on 03.25.45, which at least as of the time of this recording is the very latest version. So if you have an LG WebOS based television, good chances are this exploit is still going to work. 
So let's go ahead and we will run the check for updates again. And yes, they do store a bunch of information, but it does say there that no updates have been found. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back now and let's click on the web browser icon. And here we are, it defaults over to Google. And I am just going to remove that and type in the root my.tv. And then we will press enter here. Okay. And so now we just need to simply drag and slide this to root the device. Again, you can do this right here with your remote. And it will say connecting and then registering. And it says, if you accept this connection, Root My TV will be able to access and store information about your television. Now you can go and you can look inside of the GitHub repo to understand exactly what this application is storing. I didn't find anything that was at least of any concern for myself because I don't have any credit card information or really anything else. Uh, on this television that I'm that worried about them getting. They could probably get your MAC address, maybe your IP address, but I'm not even signed in to Netflix or anything like that on the television. So again, uh, it's up to you to make your decision here. But what I did was I went ahead and I selected yes. And after selecting yes, it brings you to this dialog where it's basically downloading a file as well as it is attempting the v2 exploit and it does say that it's downloaded has completed and that the tv is going to reboot in five seconds all right and now my television's back awake there is the app that was just added and now it's elevating the homebrew channel we will need to go ahead and reboot the television again so i'm just going to go ahead and select the Reboot Now option. There is the application that is the Homebrew Store. So we're gonna open that up and you can see here, this is called the Homebrew Channel actually. And there is a number of different applications that you can grab. So a pinball game here, custom screensaver, there was Retro Arch. Uh, the one that I'm the most interested in is going to be YouTube Ad Free. And it does state here, be sure to uninstall the official app before installing. That's not going to be an issue for us because I don't even have the official YouTube app installed. So what we'll do here is I'm just going to go ahead and go straight to the install button. And once you click install, it will download that GitHub package that we just looked at just a moment ago and will install that application on your TV. And there is also some other applications. We'll just go into Moonlight. This is a community version of the game stream client. I'm not that interested in that, but you may be. And let's go up to settings. And on settings here, this is pretty interesting because you can turn on Telnet, the SSH server. You can also block system updates if you would like to. We'll just go ahead and turn on maybe the SSH server here in a moment, as well as there is a button here to add in different types of repositories. So if you want to add more repositories and more apps, then you can simply click on where it says add repository and then type in that URL. Let's go ahead and we will go back now Let's go ahead and maybe grab the Chocolate Doom demo. Now this is at 0.0.1, .0 so I am positive that there was bugs in this package. I believe I saw that when I was originally reading through it, but I'll just go ahead and download it. And so we have a couple of apps that have been added. We have our Homebrew App Store, we have YouTube, which is the one that I've highlighted here, and then we have Doom. Let's go ahead and click on the YouTube application. And as you can see here, I'm not signed in. And so I'm just going to go to my channel and I am going to play a video and it should not have any ads whatsoever. So we're just going to select the very first option here, which is ironically paying for PS4 Homebrew. And there we go. We did not have any ads that popped up while loading our video. 
So we will just go ahead and try the Doom application, even though I'm not expecting very much. And uh, yeah, it does not appear that it is working out very well here. Okay, so the Doom did not work out. Well, that's going to do it for this one. I'll see you on the next one. Michael, 